Hello everyone, Mr. Garino here. In this first video, we're going to get you started on our PowerPoint slideshow presentation. Um, should have, as a class, already went over some basic things. And as a very, very quick review, we went over the overview of this project. I'm not going to read it again. We went over the instructions. And we, are, we also went over the grading guideline. Um, and as you work through this, these things that are pointed out here should make more sense to you. Um, because right at the beginning of the project, telling you how it's going to be graded when some things you haven't even done yet may be not so obvious, but it'll become more clear as we go through. So, let me close this out. Because I just, as I said, very quickly on a review on that. And what I want to do is, first, before we even get started, we want to make a folder in which we're going to store everything for our project. So we go to Documents. Now, in my class in school, of course, you know you have to go to your server folder, which we often call the Z drive. And then you should have already made a folder earlier in the year called Your Name Basic Computer Applications. You should double click in there. You should have some Excel files from things we've done, uh, a Your Name Photoshop folder. And guess what? Now we're going to make a new folder called Your Name and PowerPoint. If you know that you're going to, based on our three documents we just looked at, if you know you're going to send your family of four to Cancun, if you want to name it Your Name Cancun, that would be okay. Because unlike Photoshop, where we did lots and lots of projects, um, in PowerPoint we're really just doing one all-encompassing project so power naming it PowerPoint or Cancun or whatever but hey the goal here is not so much that I need to see um, a specifically named folder the goal here is to make a folder a unique folder in which to save everything for this project so I'm naming it Mr. G PowerPoint okay then to start PowerPoint you click the start button you go to all programs you go to Microsoft Office and then you choose Microsoft PowerPoint and it opens like this before I even do anything I'm going to name my file and I'm going to click here and say save as and of course I'm going to put it in that folder where I'm going to save everything for this project and very important do not name it presentation one it's the most ridiculous thing in the world. Name it a unique name. And the name I gave you in the instructions is your name, Travel Agent. Because that's what this project is all about, being a travel agent. And then say save. And one of the things I find in PowerPoint that uh, personally I find rather annoying is it starts off with these two boxes. And I guess that's from Microsoft saying, hey, it's nice to put a title on the slide and some other information about the slide. Personally, I find these boxes just annoying because I want to do my own boxes my own way. So you can click on them, and sometimes it's hard because it's on the inside, and then when you hit delete, it wants to delete what's in there, and then you got to be careful with your mouse and click right on the outside and then hit delete on your keyboard. The way I like to do it, much easier way, I'm going to go over here and say new slide and choose blank. So now I have a new blank slide. So this one has the two stupid boxes. I right click on that one and say delete slide and now I have the one blank slide that I wanted to have from the beginning. There probably is some PowerPoint options that I could go into to set it to just start all default slideshows with a blank slide but I'd rather not just go into that and fool around with options that may or may not hold for everyone because sometimes uh, like in school you're working on a public computer and those options sometimes get reset. So let's just remember, delete the one with the boxes, put on the one that's blank, and for this assignment you're going to need six slides at least. So if you want it to go and go here and say blank, notice that once you have a blank slide, if you just click new slide, the buttons sometimes have a top and bottom. So the top one puts in a new slide that's just like the slide you're on. So if I click this, the next slide will be blank. If I click new slide when I had the default one with the two boxes, it, usually puts a, I think it puts a slide with the two boxes on it. I can't remember precisely because I pretty much never do that because I hate the two boxes. So here's one, two, four, 
five, six slides. Okay, and I already have it saved, so now that I have my six slides, I really haven't done anything, but I'm going to resave it. Last thing we're going to do, at least in obviously in just this video, I want to end it on this. We go to design. Here's all the designs that people like to choose, but I don't want you to choose any of these, and it says so on the instructions that we went over. Don't choose any of the built-in designs, because although there's nothing particularly wrong with them, I would notice it, and most people who are familiar with PowerPoint would notice it as a pre-built-in PowerPoint design, and so it looks like you've basically been lazy, and you haven't done the design work on your own, you just chose what, Power, chose what PowerPoint gave you and said, I'm done. And that's the lazy way, and we want to actually do things a little bit more fancy. But we are going to use this part of the ribbon for one thing. Most screens that you're going to be using with uh, computers nowadays are uh, widescreen monitors. And the ones we're using are 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high, or commonly known when we talk about TVs and stuff, 1080p. And if you didn't know this, 1080p is a ratio of not 4 by 3, that's what this is right here now. 1080p is a ratio of 16 to 9. So if I say OK, so this is going to match the size of our screen. I mean, it's not the size of our screen when you're designing it, but when you go and play it, everything that you design will look good on any type of screen that's set 16 by 9. So monitors in our classroom are 16 by 9, 16 by 9, the projectors are 16 by 9, uh, TVs that we might want to show this presentation on are 16 by 9. So it makes sense to set our slideshow up to be a size of 16 by 9, which we just did. So now we're just going to save it one more time, and now you have your slideshow set up and ready to go, and uh, we'll go on to the next video to see how to get started. Thank you.